Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my fall haul part two and this is in collaboration with Talever. It's a brand that reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a video on their items that they sent me and I said yes. So as usual, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinion. Even though these items were sent to me, I am extremely transparent. If you're new here, you can watch some of my older videos of clothing that was sent to me and I am brutally honest. So they did send me six pieces and I'm going to be doing cutaways of how they fit and show you guys what they look like on me. Just for reference, I did order everything in extra large extra large. I sized up two sizes from my normal size. Usually I'm a medium to a large depending on the type of shirt because of my bust. I went ahead and ordered two sizes up in this line because I'm not familiar with this brand. Sometimes with brands that are similar to this, um, they just fit smaller than usual so i just wanted to let you guys know quickly beforehand so i'm just gonna go ahead and start showing you guys pieces in no particular order this first jacket i actually wore on instagram and i love 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 it it's a double breasted checked blazer i had a moment with the target blazer last year and wore it to death but that one is more of like gray tones this one has really really nice like camely brown like burnt brown I guess you could say and I really really love the length of it and I love just everything about it so this was a total total win for me and I'm just really excited to wear it more this fall next up is something I'm super excited about because I did talk about something very similar to this on my fall shopping list and it's a very very fuzzy oversized large teddy coat now this is not that oversized and this is an extra large so definitely size up one size if you want to be in your true size and two sizes if you want it to fit a little bit more oversized so you'll see it on me on the cutaway it sort of just fits perfect i originally really wanted more of like a light brown camel color which they actually do have i believe but i ordered the img a pixie coat and it's back ordered till november so i'm not getting that and i didn't want to have two of the same color coat if this one did end up working out but i really really love this one it's more of like a again sort of brick brown not as orange as my shirt but a little bit more brown but it's still burnt and i just love it so much i will say the only downfall for this jacket is that it sheds like crazy so don't wear anything that is going to be something that like attracts lint like black pants or black leggings this will get everywhere but for the cozy part of it and the fit i really really like it and it is the softest thing i have ever felt I'm not kidding. It is like so, so soft. I wish I had a blanket like this. So I'm really, really happy with this one. So next up is just a long line black blazer. It does have some rouging on the sleeves, which I did not see in the picture when I was looking um, at this online, just to be honest. Um, I'm not crazy about it. The fabric definitely feels a little cheap. The fit of it is just okay. I guess I have to give it like a steam because it's kind of wrinkly. Maybe I'll feel a little bit different about it, but the length of it is great and I'm super glad I got the extra large because the arms fit well. Other than that, it's just really boxy everywhere else, so I could have done a large, but I'm not I'm, I'm not crazy about it, but I don't hate it. There's actually nothing too terribly wrong with it. It's just the fabric that I wish was a little bit different. So yeah. Okay, next, I absolutely adore this sweater. It's navy cream and like a soft brown colored striped knit. And it's like a boxy, not so much cropped. It's more like regular. So if I did get a larger or medium, it would have been cropped. But so I'm glad I did get an extra large in this. It did have a chemical smell when I first opened it. And it's still slightly there. I'm probably going to take it to the dry cleaners and get that taken out, but it's not as strong as it was. So once it gets aired out, it definitely will get better, I'm assuming, because this, this has been an issue before in the past with certain items that have come from similar brands. But I really, 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 really like this. I like the way it fits. It's like a perfect slouch. The one other downside besides the chemical smell is the stitching inside of the collar in the front ignore my missing nail just broke the other day um the stitching is not the best but luckily that's on the inside and you don't see it definitely the price points do reflect as far as the quality of the clothing i just have to say that so far but i am really impressed with the actual like weight and feeling of this knit it's actually really really soft and i like the way it lays like i like how it's like kind of heavy and slinky so i really really love this second to last is this beautiful gray 
oversized sweater. So I'm super, super happy with this. And so far, so good. There's really just one miss for me so far, which is the black blazer. But anyways, yeah, like I said, so far, so good. The color of this is really good. The length of it's good. I like the little side slits here. When I was putting it on, I actually didn't know what side was the front or the back. There's no tag indicating that, which um, maybe it just fell off. But oh my gosh, I have brown fuzz from that fuzzy brown jacket on this sweater. But it is super, super cute. I love the fit. I love the exaggerated high neck on this sweater. I will say it's a little itchy. If you're super sensitive to like itchy fabrics and this may not work for you, but it doesn't bother me too much. I'm not that sensitive and it's not that itchy. It's just slightly itchy, but I'm really really happy with this i'm a sucker for like light gray knit in the fall in the winter time and i think i'm gonna wear this a lot so one item that i was super super excited to get was this and i'm really disappointed i'm kind of sad the fabric is not that great so this is very versace-esque slash i guess gucci inspired because the colors i really really like this i love wearing glasses like this to work just sort of tucked into jeans maybe a blazer or a leather jacket sort of just slung over my shoulders or a denim jacket i like on the hanger i really really love this shirt but i'm not impressed with the quality at all i just i'm not happy with it the buttons are really really like poorly made they're very very cheap plastic that doesn't even bother me so much what bothers me the most is the fit through the bust it's just really uncomfortable i'm very narrow in the shoulders here like things are just usually oversized and kind of already drop shoulder on me um, naturally because i'm narrow so the fit of the arms were just weird it doesn't fit my arms really that well i could kind of finesse it and i'll probably maybe wear it once or twice just tuck it into jeans like if i could just like maybe get a cute picture with it maybe it'll be worth it i'm just yeah i'm not happy Oh, that's a bummer because the print of this is so cool. It is such a cool print. Anyways, you guys, that was it for my fall haul part two. Thank you so much to Talever for collaborating with me with this video. I'm going to link everything in the description box for you guys if you are interested in any of the pieces that I talked about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.